testing, testing. Hello, everybody. All right. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Robert uh, with Mysterium team. And uh, I guess this, uh, this uh, DEF CON has been a lot about privacy, and, and you have seen a lot technical talks about privacy. Um, and this is ending, uh, DEF CON is ending, so I would love to leave you with um, some fundamental thoughts about what privacy means, what does it mean uh, in our daily lives, what does it mean in our everyday use of blockchain and internet apps, and uh, if it's even possible to, to protect it. So let's start off. Um, what is privacy? Uh, what is anonymity? Are they different? Are they the same? Uh, and how do they apply on our everyday life? Privacy. <laughs> well, what does it mean to have privacy? Uh, when you engage in an activity, let's say an online activity, you log into your bank account, you log into your Facebook account, you log, you 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 talk to somebody, uh, you go into the bathroom. When you engage into an activity, privacy means having control of who has access to that activity together with you, if anybody. When you're creating your private keys for the wallet, you don't want to give access to anybody unless, I don't know, it's your wife. Um, but when you log into Facebook, you give Facebook the right to change things, but you trust Facebook. Um, to not change things beyond what you tell them to, like clicking on the like button. And if there is any entity, third party entity, unauthorized entity, which is monitoring your actions, that means you've lost your privacy. And if that entity can monitor your actions and even change things like block you from going into Facebook, if you're in China, for example, well, that means you really lost your privacy. Anonymity, on the other hand, is a little bit different concept. Anonymity means um, you go out into the world and you want the world to see what you're doing. You just don't want the world to know who you are. Um, and um, like, like we're sending ethers on blockchain, we, everybody can see those ethers being sent. Nobody knows who is the person sending them or who is the entity doing that. And both concepts are really important. Privacy is there for us to be calm, to, to calm down. And anonymity is there for the society. Um, it's, a, it's a catalyst of change. Without one, we would not have freedom of speech, or at least we would be very afraid uh, to do so. So, on the fundamental level, anything that happens on the internet is basically communication, right? Entity A is talking to entity B, and they create a communication channel. And over the last couple of decades, um, this channel has been, well, I don't know how to say it, breached uh, to be the least. Um, you can monitor what's happening and sometimes even um, even in, 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 in interrupt uh, the, the communication. Let, let's, let's talk about the same example, Facebook app uh, to Facebook server. When you're on, in certain countries, you just can't reach that server. Why? Because somebody can see that, uh, that communication channel being opened up and they cut it right there. So the question is, is it possible to even protect this channel between those two entities? And those two entities can be anything. It's, it could be a device talking to a server, app to app, app to server, server to server, anything. So is it possible to protect, to protect identities of these two? That would mean anonymity. And to protect the content of the, of the communication happening between those two, that would mean privacy. And we believe it is, and that, that's what we set out uh, as a mission for ourselves. Um, to protect the identities and to protect the content so that no third party, unauthorized third party entity could take a look, see who is talking, and understand what they're talking about. So protecting privacy and anonymity. The question is, of course, how to achieve this. And we suggest, um, 
to do it in a couple phases. As a phase one, we're going to be building a decentralized network of VPN nodes, um, which means basically that anybody can become a VPN node. Just download an open source app, run it on your computer, and that's it. Anybody can connect through you if they need that communication, and you'll be paid uh, to serve uh, this service. On top of it, we're going to add a couple layers, for example, a decentralized um, discovery mechanism so it wouldn't have a single point of failure, a, an anonymous identity management so that you would know, uh, like if entity A is using those three nodes, uh, they would know whom to pay, and of course, uh, an anonymous payment mechanism uh, so that, again, it could not be tracked. In this case, um, entity A, if they want to talk to an entity B, uh, let's say Facebook app to, to, to server, they would connect to a first node. Um, and let's, let's imagine, I don't know, a Catalan situation. Uh, and let's, let's, let's think uh, there's a bit of a crisis taking place right now. And if the communication would be blocked, so they would connect to a first node somewhere in the Catalan, then the connection would be uh, encrypted and the, 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 the contents would be hidden, identity would be hidden. Um, from this node, it would go to the next node, I don't know, here into Mexico, finally to the third node, right next to Facebook headquarters, and then, uh, right, unencrypted. In this place, all, all the way up to the third node, the traffic is encrypted, and after the third node, um, third node has the keys as well as uh, entity A. Uh, they decrypt the traffic and it goes to node B. Uh, it's an amazing uh, technology. Uh, it can open up borders. It can uh, go around, uh, I forgot the word, uh, basically you cannot block content anymore because you cannot see uh, what is what is taking place, but of course there is a little bit of like the final stretch is still not fully uh, protected because you still have like for example a third node can still become the node that's rogue and can uh, contribute to, to to the cost of of tracking data and blocking data and uh, uh, man in the middle attacks and 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 all the other things. Uh, happening and between this node and and the uh, uh, final destination, there could be an ISPs, uh, which again act as malicious ones, uh, and vice versa. So, is it possible to completely protect the channel between A and B, um, so that it would not be possible to see who is talking and what they're talking about? And we believe it is, and that's what we're offering. Basically, after, we're, after phase one, when we're building this infrastructure, um, when this is done, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a protocol. And any app developer who's, who's wishing to protect their users talking to each other, to protect their servers talking to each other, protect their users talking to servers, will be able to do so uh, by integrating this protocol. And at this stage, net, uh, the messages going out from the first place would be encrypted here, shredded, sent through multiple nodes, recollected at the exit node, at the destination place, uh, with private keys which A and B have. They could be reassembled into a coherent message and uh, consumed. A and B trust each other, so they have no problem of sharing this information. Everything from outside would look like lots of gibberish. Every node would have, uh, for example, node five would just see node four as, as some node, and they would relay the message to B without ever knowing if B is another node or the final recipient. And, and the same way goes for the node four. Node four would never know if A was uh, an, just another node or, or a original sender. In this case, what we would have is we will have a private um, privacy protected because of the communication content is 
not recognizable for any third party, not even a node, not us, not anybody. Anonymous because identities would be protected because only them would know who is each other and trustless because no node uh, would ever be possible um, to take this information and make any meaning of it. So yeah, uh, this will enable any app developer to integrate this um, private communication channel into their apps uh, and making, well, making an unstoppable app. So that's it. Um, I thank you. And let's work together.